Welcome to Take It From The Iron Woman. My name is Susanne Müller, your host and the Iron Woman. This podcast is about empowering yourself and others to make real changes in the world. You will hear from everyday, smart, sophisticated, hip people like you and me. Not everybody has to be an Iron Woman to impress the world. Together, we will learn from the sports and business leaders how you can become a more successful person as an entrepreneur or a leader. It's one step at a time, one day at a time. Take your steps now. Take your big steps now. Join me on this journey to success. Take it from the Iron Woman. And again, we only have special guests today. I'm very honored to have Erika Walker with us. Erika and I met and she has to tell us how we met. Erika, welcome and introduce yourself. Who is Erika who's going to join us today? Well, Erica is very excited to be here. I am Erica Walker. I am the president and CEO of the Walker Thomas Group. And I believe we met co-facilitating or not co-facilitating, but I think we were on the same conference panel with another organization, perhaps in Mexico. And now today, where is Erica and what are you going to do March 9 and 10? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I am in a suburb of Chicago in uh, freezing cold today, by the way. But on the mm -hmm. 9th and 10th, I'm really excited to talk about self-care and resilient self-care. It's been a tough year for lots of people for lots of reasons. I think it has allowed people to really understand how important self-care really is. I'm going to talk about that. What does that look like? Sometimes people say, oh, well, I go to the gym or I get a massage occasionally and I take two vacations a year. And so I take care of myself and, and that's a start. But resilient mm -hmm. self-care is really about doing it all the time just a part mm -hmm. of your lifestyle, not waiting until you get some time off, but making yourself a priority the same way you would prioritize a meeting or taking your children mm -hmm. to school or caring for parents. That's what I'll be talking about. Mm, that's exciting. And how did you get to that topic? I mean, we all know self-care is very important. And we know that in the planes, they say, put the oxygen mask first on you and then others But these days, I hear and see a lot of people who put the oxygen mask first on others and then on themselves. Yeah. And they don't take care of themselves because they feel like in the pandemic, they have to work more. They don't have this separation between work and home because nobody or most of the people don't commute anymore. How right. did that happen for you? Well, it's interesting. This is an ongoing lesson for me. I have been struggling and succeeding and struggling and succeeding with self-care over the years. I love what I do. Even before the pandemic, I just brought my work home and I uh, was really passionate about it. I belong to some other organizations and it felt like every once a year or every couple of years, I'd be really sick. I had a virus or something, but I was really sick because I was too worn out. Mm -hmm. I was uh, just going too hard, both mentally, emotionally, and physically, and then not building enough time in spiritually. When I got sick on some small thing like a virus and not COVID, but just some flu mm -hmm. or something, it was really significant for me because I had just not been taking the time I needed to. I relearn this lesson all the time. And about seven years ago, Susan, I had a stroke. And that was the big wake up call for me. You sort of think you're young, you're healthy. It's not going to mm -hmm. happen to me, but it happened. And so it was a minor stroke. Luckily, I didn't have to do any rehab. I did take about three months off. But from that moment on, I, I just started to take it more seriously. And I feel like every year I get better and better with it. Mm. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. I know this is tough. We think we're on top of everything and yeah. all of a sudden, then three months is a long time to recharge the batteries and rejuvenate. Exactly. And maybe for people who are going to be for March 9 and 10, give us some tips now so we can whet their appetite to join us for the symposium. Yeah. One of the tips would be to look at self-care, not 
um, just in one category, but in multiple categories. One tip would be to check out what you're doing physically, what you are doing emotionally, what you are doing psychologically. What are you feeding in into your brain? What spiritual practices do you have? And by the way, it doesn't mean you have to be super religious, but just where's the quiet time where you just connect mm-hmm. with whatever higher being science, whatever that is, your diet, all of those things. That's one tip. We're going to talk about all these mm-hmm. different areas because I find that most people are great in one area and they ignore the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another tip is how you start to embed self-care into your schedule. I had some really cool tricks to do that because I think people who can hear me right now are like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. But then life happens and then they start running around again, even if it's in their own house from the living room to the dining room because of COVID, but they just can't figure out how to, to incorporate it in. Mm -hmm. I have some great tips about that and how to make it a habit. I I love this book called Atomic Habits. Mm -hmm. And so I incorporate some of the teachings from that book into what we'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. And one other thing that we'll be doing is brainstorming or or sharing some of the the ideas that I've actually heard from other people on self-care. I have my own sort Mm -hmm. of rituals, but doing this session, I have really picked up some interesting tips from other people. I think it's great to share. And that's what I love about this being a global event, because it's not just my perspective or the perspective of the folks that I talk to every day, though though you and I both do work around the world, but isn't it going to be great to be able to hear what people are doing in Spain and Mexico and, and Los Angeles and New York? I'm so excited about that. Couldn't be better. And in a way, the pandemic is actually helping us so we can bring the people from around the world into the room. So when could we ever have people from India, Switzerland, the US and South America in one room? Only now. Isn't that exciting? I I don't remember exactly what months, but during last year, I did something called 100 Days of Positive Impacts from Mm COVID-19. Because while it was difficult, there were a lot of great things that came out of it, just Mm -hmm. like what you're saying now. Not that we didn't have global conferences before, but I just don't think people were as open when they weren't as open even to the topics we're discussing. But now it's like, okay, let me sit down and really take this in and take advantage of the opportunity to be able to connect with great minds all over the world. Yeah, totally agree with you. This is a good impact from COVID. And we know March March 8 is the Women's International Women's Day. Certainly a great month to celebrate women. And we need to celebrate more and empower and inspire more and just get together and help each other. And Janine and her team does a wonderful job with promoting everything. And I think her team in the background, they're doing an awfully good job. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, I'm very happy. And thank you so much. So we'll have that. We have all the information in the show notes. And make sure that you chime in when Erica Walker is talking on March 10. I will be talking on March 9 on Lipstick Leadership, Equality, Sisterhood and Liberty. So don't miss out. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Thank you so much, Erica. Women, Leadership and Beyond. Mark your calendar, March 9 and 10. We have many interesting discussions. And at the end of the day, a panel. We're ready for your questions. Join in, chime in. Don't miss out on a great opportunity. Take it from the Iron Woman. We have episodes every Monday, every Wednesday. Don't miss out. There is something for everybody. And Take It From The Iron Woman is also a book. Get it on Amazon. And coaching is also available. 